The idea behind playing Minesweeper is to find out the hidden mines behind all these blocks in this game. This left number shows how many mines are hidden and this right number shows the time you spent. If you hit a mine just press the, press the smiley face and you can restart the game. First off just try your luck and hit any any block you like. Let's say I'll click this one left mouse. A whole section opens up saying okay there are no mines in here. Fine. When you find a mine you use the right mouse to mark that block with a red flag saying it has a mine. As simple as that. There's only one logic to follow in this game which are what do these numbers mean. The numbers mean that all the cells connected to a number has that many mines. So this number one, the one I'm hovering my mouse over, means that all the cells connected to this number has to have at least, not at least, exactly one mine. So how many cells are connected right now? Only one, right? So this means that this definitely has a mine. So this fulfills the logic requirement for this number. Also if we move to the next number you see, this has one and there are two cells connecting to it. This cell and this cell. So meaning that between these two cells, there has to be one mine. And because we have fulfilled the requirement, we know this connecting cell cannot have a mine. So left mouse, click, and there you go. So the logic is fulfilled for this, this, and this. In general, there are uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cells possible connecting to one cell. Let me tell you, explain what I mean. So if I assume this cell has a mine, the way to find out how many cells are connected is by looking at it this way. From here, there's one connection, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is how we know connection. And the numbers simply mean that how many mines are possibly there in all those cells. And these are empty cells. So look at this one. This would be even easier. This one, two. How many cells are connected to these two? One, two, and three. And two means of these three cells that are still uh, not open, like these ones, there will be two mines. Now we know one mine is already there. That means out of these two, there can be only exactly one more mine. Okay? We don't know which one. But if you look at this one, this means there's only one possible connection, right? So definitely this has a mine. So for look, go back to these two, one connection mine, two connection mine. That means this definitely does not have a mine. Also look at the two above, this one. One connection mine, two connection mine. These two is fulfilled. That means this definitely does not have a mine. Click left mouse, done, fulfilled. So this way you go around finding out all the mines. The easiest one are the corner ones, right? This corner has only one connection, definitely mine. This fulfills this requirement, this requirement. So this does not have a mine. This takes care of this one. So no mine, no mine, right? This takes care of this one. So no mine. This way I'm going to go around and fill out all of them. Okay. So let me pause the video, fill it out and I'll come back. So there I have it. I have finished all of that and see all these numbers are fulfilled with their logic requirement of the number of miles in there. Good. So let me play one more game and then you'll be good. So start randomly.
just right mouse and left mouse. And that's it. I hope you are okay with it. It's a quick tutorial. See you.